In this video, I will be talking about how to chain two motion components together. Begin by assembling two motion components that are to be chained together. Next, we will cut the length of chain that we need to chain these two sprockets together. Wrap the chain around the sprockets, ending where there is an internal link on both sides that are next to each other. Keep that link in your hand, and then insert it into the chain breaker tool. Next, tighten the screw to push the pin out of the chain. This will separate the chain from the long section of chain. Once the pin falls out, make sure to loosen the screw. Then, once you have loosened the screw, you can pull the chain out from the chain breaker. You will now have two sections of chain. The shorter section is the section that you will wrap around your sprockets. In order to complete the length of chain, you will use a master link. The master link will link the two ends of chain together to make a complete loop. This first part holds the two ends of chain together. Then this part will separate it from the rest of the chain. The last part is the clip, which can be quite difficult to attach. Use the pliers to push the clip into place. Once the clip is attached, you will have an endless loop of chain. This will then run smoothly across the sprockets.